Hello, welcome to another vlog. I hope you enjoyed the little morning intro and now I can talk. <laughs> um, it's now uh, late enough to talk. No, I'm not a, I'm, I'm, I'm a morning person. I like mornings and starts of the day and so on. Um, I I'm a lucky girl, so I have a colleague and she was in the US on vacation this year and I asked her that she maybe can go to Ulta, Alta, this drugstore thingy in, um, in the US to buy me this. So this is from Real Techniques, a new sponge and only the US is getting it at the moment and their Instagram story and revelation before they revealed it um, was so great <laughs> that I was like, I need that. So I asked her and um, yeah, she had a little space in her suitcase and brought me that. So the speciality of this is that um, uh, usually, let me show you a, a normal one. So this is a normal Real Technique sponge. You usually wet it and um, make it a bit drier and then you can dab everything in. But there's also a lot of um, um, foundation sucked in the sponge, uh, which is not landing on your face and this is not very sustainable. So you need to spend more product than um, with this, they tell us. So it says that it will um, save 90% of the amount of foundation you use. So, and um, as they said that uh, your fingers are the best things to blend um, foundation in, they made a super cool surface so it looks like a fingerprint and um, you can so it's a bit it's a super squishy squishy yeah you can squeeze it and so on but it's also like a real surface you know you can just wipe everything away and um, I'm just at home so we are trying a little foundation so I have this one here this is from, this is kind of a tester from Anayake and there is one, the Teint Lumiere inside and we will try to put this because this is um, runny. We'll try to put this on our face with a sponge on this side and on this side I will use my fingers and then we can compare which one looks better. So let's see. So I will put also something on here and then we can start with the forehead okay <laughs> okay this is a lot so let me check so i will usually do it like this with my fingers like strokes okay this is a lot um this is too much <laughs> so it's now on the surface of the sponge when i do the stroking after that i do the dabbing Let's see if it's, it's working. It's a thick layer. I think it's thicker when I use my finger. Let me try. You see, I do also the stroking. And after that, the dabbing. I think I used too much on this, um, too much foundation on this side, so the sponge didn't have a chance to distribute it properly. Because I mean, now I have also product still on my hand. Okay, can we see a difference? So this is the one with a sponge, and this is the side with the fingers. I think there's some more product on here, but so, okay, you have to get used to this surface. So you need less foundation um, because, yeah, it doesn't absorb 
the foundation. That's why you don't need to so much. Yeah. Okay, I will I will wet this one this side here, and then I need to <laughs> get rid of some of them because I, it doesn't feel right. It looks now much bigger, and uh, yeah, I can. I was able to wipe everything away from it. So I think this feels softer than this one when it's wet. Okay, let's try some concealer. I, I will use the same amount I usually use when I use my fingers. So I will do it like this and put a blob here and a blob there. Oh. <laughs> I was too quick distributing it. Okay, so we can use this side, this um, corner. Sounds funny. Like so, and with a finger. I think it looks the same. Yeah. So, yeah, they didn't promise <clears throat> too much. I'm so lucky that I am able to try that. And yeah, I guess I will use it from time to time. Usually I don't uh, have like a liquid foundation, but um, I guess for like creamy textures. I mean, I have this blush. This is a Korean blush. You can put, so it looks like a nail polish. I can put some of this blush on here and then let's check it out yeah very good is there still something on it so when it's wet you are covering kind of the outer lines with your product but yeah i mean Super interesting to see. I like to use my hands, but um, I know people who doesn't like it. So I guess it's a good invention. So this is not a tattoo. I got my flu vaccination. What should I say? She said, mm, maybe you get a bruise. <laughs> yes, maybe. Oh, it looks much better today. Uh, so it's already starting to get yellow. So it was super dark blue, <laughs> violet, and a bit of yellow, a bit of red. It was like a rainbow. But this is a tattoo. <laughs> a two-week tattoo. So there is a German company called Inster, and they are producing a lot of tattoos. And on the 1st of September, when I was on the Back to Hogwarts day, they had a, a tent uh, where you can already see the special collection of Harry Potter. Um, the queue was too long for me, <laughs> so I didn't um, went there. And they came out, so they published all the tattoos, I think bits of September or something and yeah then I ordered I mean they are not cheap <laughs> but I mean it's Harry Potter and I don't have to have needles on me <laughs> so yeah. very good okay I will show you the the tattoos I bought so this is some um, I know no this is a Hufflepuff badger with Hufflepuff, patience, dedication, and loyalty. So this is quite a, a big one. Then I went for the lightning bolt two times. Then there is a, can you see that? Yeah, it's smaller than it is. So it's a flying key, looks like this. Then there is a Hogwarts letter with an H on it. Uh, I have this one on me at the moment. And there's a little sock. Look at this. 
a dobby sock and it um, stayed so it's uh, it's bigger it's like this and it stayed um, free dobby <laughs> and then I went for the Lumos wand two times there was also an exfiliamos with some stars at the end you can see here <laughs> then there is a nine and three quarters it's uh, the size is so and then there's a golden snitch Ooh, looking forward to it. take that and then there's harry potter's wand with kind of a swirl and some stars yeah um i can show you when i have the on them uh, when i put them on um the hogwarts above the age it's so difficult to show you <laughs> uh, the hogwarts above the age like here is already dissolving so we put it on i think sunday evening and then it takes 36 hours to develop and on Tuesday it was really dark and now it's already fading so two weeks hmm. I guess you have uh, after one and a half weeks only some dark dots or something yeah but yeah feeling like kind of a badass witch <laughs> to wear them I think I'm not brave enough mm, for real tattoo and to be honest, I don't know where to put it and what it could be. Because, yeah, it's, I mean, it's forever. And yeah, maybe I, I think this is the best, um, the best I can do. <laughs> Hello, a happy Sunday morning. It is 10, 10 a.m. in the morning. And I am driving to a little forest spot to meet with a friend um, and go for a walk with her dog. So usually she has one dog, but at the moment she has two dogs and um, she warned me already that he's a bit, he needs a bit of time <laughs> to get in touch with new human beings. He might be barking at me, but when he's fine, then um, he likes everybody. So let's see how this works out. It is a super nice, sunny, autumn day I'm I couldn't be happier to have the Sun out and uh, yeah so I guess this is a good start into the into a weekend day usually we are hanging out on the couch and this is also really nice but imagine <laughs> you get up put on your sports clothes and run or something like this I cannot imagine myself doing this but yeah would be <laughs> better for my whole body I guess but yeah I don't know it feels good we will see us when we arrive at the little forest I have arrived look at the Sun it's still there it's so autumn the colors, the colors of the trees are looking beautiful. And I didn't finish my morning tea this morning, so I brought my little cup with me. And I like it because it says, Shoes can change your life, ask Cinderella. So, yeah, I will have a sip of tea. My friend is just arriving. Let's see the dogs. Good morning. <laughs> it's a dime, yeah? Cha 
Daddy. Back in the car. That was super nice. We had we were very lucky with the weather and sunny autumn. I like. And the dog, he's super cute. So it was uh, fun to see him. He was really funny and jumping and so on. And yeah, and we met uh, two elderly ladies. They were also so sweet. And they were like, oh, I need to pet them. <laughs> the dogs. Yeah, that was nice. A lot of cars. So the people are waking up and wanted to go out for a walk. But I guess so if you don't have a, if you don't have a dog, it's really, There were a lot of dogs, really a lot of dogs. I'm not sure if you don't like dogs, this shouldn't be the place for you here in Hamburg. Oh, but it was funny to see them and funny to look at them and how they react to each other and so on. Yeah, so driving home, um, I will edit this vlog um, you are now seeing I guess and then we'll head to the couch what is up for lunch we will have some spaghetti with scampis in garlic oil I will end this vlog here with the Sun in my back I hope you enjoyed this little vlog if yes give it a thumbs up and then we will see us very soon stay safe and take care bye